What's up, what's up, YouTube, Facebook, Zash My Wedge, about to hit the tracks, hit the uh, schoolyard, hit the track, got the whole family over there waiting on me, but uh, I was on my way out, had to grab my laptop, and realized that I need to download some important information, because people still out there tripping, a little earlier, I had to post a quick video, um, yeah, we about to go now. I had to I had to post a quick video um, about Triple G and um, um, this guy Danny. You know, I already told y'all there ain't no way in the world he was going to beat Triple G. I mean, anything's possible in the world of boxing. Everybody has a puncher's chance. No matter how soft you punch, everybody got a puncher's chance. And if you got some skills and you got the right style, every style can be matched. You know, they say styles make fights. Everybody can be beat. Does it? There's a counter style for every style. But the thing is, the thing is, Triple G is a, is a, is a, is a thoroughbred. He's an authentic it took him a while. I didn't like. I didn't like how his career was going, but this last fight showed me that he is an authentic dude. And um, even though he's on his way out, and because of the politics, he didn't really get to show his finesse and his greatness. Um, sorry to say, you know. And because of the ignorance of the the, the, the boxing public, the Rock'em Sock'em fans. Um, People are putting the wrong people up against him, and they're pushing for the wrong people to fight him. Like, for instance, this Canelo situation. This is a bunch of crap, man. Canelo has almost zero chance of beating his big brother. First of all, weight does matter. He's outweighted, okay? Second of all, he's outclassed. Triple G is the truth. First of all, we know he was the truth because of his career, his record. You know, this guy is a super amateur. A super amateur. Olympian. You know what I'm saying? A, 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 a successful Olympian. So, he's not uh, somebody who had 10 fights, 100 fights, and uh, not even 100 fights. Somebody who had 30 or 40 fights and turned pro because he's tough and he's strong. This dude is an authentic Olympian. He had two careers. So you can't judge him by his professional career alone. In other words, if you are a professional kung fu artist or you doing MMA or whatever, and you come to boxing, they have to hold you accountable for your professional competition in, 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 the, other, in the other arts because they're all arts. Well, Triple G is an amateur master boxer who's been around. So, you have to take this into accountability if you if you know anything about boxing. You're not an average rock'em sock'em. Um, Y'all want to go outside? Yeah. They're out there. You can stay inside, um, it's, uh, Shahi, since you're a little sick. But, yo, the truth is, you know, you can use the, uh, your amateur as experience. Come on, who's going to say that's not experience? Yes, it is different. Amateur is different from pros. Pros are a little bit more conniving and scheming. And you can, uh, hey, 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 I say get out, man. You can, you can, it's a little bit more scheming and conniving. And you can, um, that way. And you can, um, you can, you can, you can misjudge a, a, a tough pro. And he can end up winning because pros give you a lot more opportunities to win. However, however, Canelo, Canelo has not enough amateur experience, not enough pro experience. This guy is a journeyman, a journeyman at best who's been pumped up. You know, Mexico is using him just like they use De La Hoya. And, um, you know, but De La Hoya was the golden boy. They used him, pumped his name up. He didn't fight a lot of 
top people at the right time. He fought a lot of top people, but it was in different situations. But Delahoy was the truth in the amateurs. So you can't take that away from him. Who was Canelo in the amateurs? Who was he? You know what I mean? He been doing, did he win anything? In America, anyway. Or nationally. Now, um, it's, did, did he get through the Cubans? You know what I'm saying? And, and then the amateurs, when, when, what makes people think that Triple G, because he ain't fighting nobody in the pros, he's a scrub. You can't go by that. You got to know the whole situation, and you got to know styles, too. His style, Triple G style, is a puncher. Go ahead. He's a puncher. And he, um, that's what he do. He do that best. He don't do nothing else. Uh, Mexicans mostly are uh, punchers, like Chavez is a puncher. I like to compare him to Chavez because... Him and Chavez get a lot of bad rap because of their style. Because they're punchers. They're dangerous people to mess with. They'll beat you up alive. They'll beat you to death. And, and, and brain damage you and all kind of other stuff if you don't have the equipment to box. You know what I'm saying? Now, this guy, Danny, Danny um, Jacob, um, he had absolutely no chance. Man. He, uh, he has no pedigree. He's not, he's, not a, he's not an authentic boxer. Not even from the amateurs. I mean, who is he? You know what I'm saying? Now they pump him up. Shut the door, man. They pump him up. Put him here in the pros with um, Triple G. And because he can fight and he's strong, don't mean you can box. Especially with the best. And this is, I told you, Triple G had over 300 fights, man. This dude already had a career in fighting. He's revived. Coming back, fighting a new life. That's how important the amateurs is, man. It's, it's real talk, real deal, man. That's just like street fighting or, or you a football player or you a, and you come into a, a wrestling. You're a professional at conditioning, so you're going to have an edge on other people. Or, you know what I mean, anything. You know what I'm saying? So amateur boxing takes a, takes a good point. Okay, so, so um, Triple G is no joke. He shouldn't be... Taking, I don't know how in the world y'all think Canelo's going to beat him. Not as in, the, not even in his lead, not in his weight. Um, he's not in his punching power. He don't even, he don't, he don't punch like Triple G. Not even at a lighter weight. You know, um, if Triple G was fighting people, he was fighting, they'd be murdered. So you know, I, and I don't want to overcredit Triple G because he got weaknesses too. Triple G. Up until his last fight, I, 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 I was washing my hands with him because they're not putting him up against the right people. And it's not his fault. It's the machine that's running him. You know what I'm saying? They like to pump people up and use them as long as they can. Suck all of the, 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 the stuff out of they can out of them. And then, you know, in the end of their career, cause all this controversy. And now a, a guy two weight classes lighter than him is going to come up and beat him. Come on, man. Be for real. Canelo has absolutely no chance. If anybody got some disagreements with me, man, bring it up. Come on, we can we can we can talk about it, you know. But um, the truth is the truth, man. You know, first of all, Triple G got the amateur pedigree. Canelo don't. We don't even know him. Ten years ago, we don't even know him. Uh, Canelo uh, Triple G is, is is crazy puncher in the pros. Canelo. He had a few crazy knockouts, strong knockouts, one-punch killers, knockouts. Okay, um, Triple G knows the ring like the back of his hand. He's a He had two careers. <laughs> He's been fighting for years and years. He, 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 he knows in and out of the ring. He had thousands of fights, including his um, sparring matches. He's been around all over the world. Canelo, he had about, what, 20 fights? How many fights? 20, 20, 30 fights. And none of them was really satisfying. And maybe maybe about five of them where he fought somebody that was really authentic. And before that, as an amateur, I don't even know him. Do anybody know him? Can somebody post something about Canelo as an amateur to make him world class? Please. But um, other than that, um, I don't even, I had to do this video because I can't believe people is actually pumping the crowd head up 
pumping your own head up and pumping Canelo head up to think he's... Matter of fact, they're not pumping Canelo head up. This is all game because Oscar De La Hoya would never let that happen. He already know. You know, it's rules to this game. You just can't just jump up and say somebody is Superman and he just beat everybody. It's rules to this game. You know what I'm saying? The fight don't dictate what you got. You know what I mean? It's, it's your style. It's your, uh, your athletic ability. It's your career. It's your history. Um, it's your attitude. You know what I mean? We're watching everything. It's your team. You got to have an awesome team. He don't want none of Triple G, man. At all. He's not even going to do that fight. Everybody hyping themselves up. So now, Danny uh, gave him a, a real tough fight. I think should be his last fight. Triple G is old in the game. And he's um, showing it really bad. And um, Danny... Jacob exposed his age, exposed Triple G is getting wore out. Triple G is going to start getting touched more on the chin, okay? We saw that when he fought um the other dude. What's his name? Um, the real lightweight one. You know what I mean? Uh, dang, I forgot his name. But we saw that when he, when he fought him. He was getting touched with him. Triple G can be touched, and he's getting more older, so he's going to start getting touched more. But I'm going to say this, and this is it. Triple G is not going to fight Canelo. Get that out of your head. You're not going to make it happen. You can't force him. to. You couldn't pay him enough money to fight him, okay? His management is not going to let that happen, okay? So that's out. Triple G um, beat Danny Jacob the other night. Off of basic wisdom. Anybody who knows boxing know that that young boy can't hold the water that Triple G hold for all these years. That young boy Jacob was wild, coming out, giving his all, and it still wasn't enough to hurt Triple G. It wasn't enough to really do some damage. Uh, he got himself up off the ground after Triple G dropped him, and he fought his heart out, and he showed a, a great fight, but... He came up short, man. He's not a killer, and he wasn't going to kill Triple G even if he was to give his blood up. He wasn't going to do it. That didn't happen that night, last night. But what happened was he got a lot of people um, who was already confused about Triple G's career and frustrated of how they're using Triple G and not putting him out there to fight the people we want him to see them fight. We want him to see him fight Ward. We want him to see him fight a... a, 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 a uh, people that's tall and lanky, you know what I mean? Even it's, it's plenty of fighters I think that can beat them. Boxing, man, boxing ain't no joke, man. It is what it is. You can predict who can win. Whether, whether they win or not, it, it, it depends on how bad they want it, who's behind them, how much money is behind them, and how much heart they got. But we can easily predict who's going to win. Styles make fights. That ain't no joke. They say that all the time. It means something. Styles make fights. Um, you know, um, uh, Chavez, J.C. Chavez, one of the greatest fighters, top two, him and, him and, 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 and uh, 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 Mike Tyson, the greatest at going in fighters, and I think he's better than Mike Tyson, because I seen Mike Tyson go backwards and get knocked out, I never seen De La Hoya go backwards, and get knocked, and, until he got real old with De La Hoya, I think De La Hoya beat him up, but I'm talking about in his prime fight time. But Mike went through a lot of mental things. He went in and out of jail, a lot of this and a lot of that. He had too much money. So you can't really judge Tyson, but how he was at his best. I'm going to remember Tyson as his best. All right, I'm on the phone. I'm going to judge Tyson by how he was at his best. And at his best, he was a, a wrecking ball. When he came in, he came in on angles and he was getting them. So him, uh, J.C. Chavez, when he came in, he was brutal, man. He was brutal. Blood everywhere. Blood on his opponent, and he was dropping jokers, you know what I mean? He was killing jokers in there. Now, um, this guy Triple G, last night, he kind of showed me that he's a great. He kind of showed me he's a great because he got this young dude who was determined. This dude was ready to die to win this fight, but he wasn't a, a thoroughbred. He didn't have a pedigree to take out a guy who had 300 amateur fights.
a guy who was a national champion, a guy who was a world champion. He wasn't ready to dethrone him yet. He wasn't ready to be dethroned yet. He's still authentic. And I think um, Triple G, um, Triple G is done, but we're going to see how ugly this boxing system is. Are they going to suck him dry until he get dropped and half dead? You know, as an old man, they like taking senior citizens and getting them beat up, you know, and 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 because boxing is about styles and and and, and it, don't, it ain't about names. You could be anybody. You could be Muhammad Ali. And when you get a style that's the opposite of yours and that can beat your style, you're going down, buddy, no matter who you are. So not unless you figure out another plan like Floyd Mayweather. They say he think good on his feet because he always got a move for every move. That's why he's able to go through multiple um, opponents without losing because you can figure him out and then he'll switch to another style that he's excellent in. So, you know, being excellent in multi, multiple styles. Triple G's not like that. Triple G is what he is. But no young boy like Danny Jacobs who don't have no pedigree going to come and take him out of that. It's not going to happen. And Triple G versus Canelo is even worse. Canelo's smaller than um, Danny Jacobs. Smaller than him. And, and... Not too much great of a boxer. He don't move around like Danny Jacob. He couldn't even box around like that. Only only thing good about Canelo is he's tough as nails. He's Mexican. That's the only thing good about him. It's in his blood to be able to fight, stand there and rumble. But not against the Triple G, an authentic, bona fide, amateur world champion who actually, um, who's getting old now. They, they could do that, and then it'll make me look like, you know, I'm stupid for all y'all rock'em sock'ems. That's what y'all wish would happen. You know, we could see Triple G grow old, get in there with Canelo. Canelo's getting old, too, but Canelo's a little bit younger. Spirit, they get a nice, strong young man to beat down Triple G, make about a billion dollars. You know what I mean? That's what y'all want to see. But that's rock'em sock'em crap, man. That's corny. The real deal, you know what I mean, is Triple G, give him his credit for what he is. He's an authentic, authentic, world-class puncher. Um, Danny Jacob is not world-class. He don't deserve that victory unless um, he get the points. You got to get the points. And hold the statue. You got to hold up the character of someone who got the points. You, know, you can't just tap somebody a million times and win the fight. You know what I'm saying? You got to be looking right, looking nice. Your defense nice. You landing punches, crucial punches. You really getting him in trouble. If if if, if that was um an authentic boxer, getting Triple G in trouble like that, the fight would be over. And another thing. If you get somebody in trouble and you can't get them in trouble again, it wasn't authentic the first time. You just got lucky. Because if you do it once, you should be able to do it again. If that was um, if that was um, Roy Jones Jr. got him in trouble like that, the fight would be over. You know what I mean? My memory's messed up, man. There's plenty of fighters I can name because styles make fights. And it's different styles. Everybody carries a different style. Some people carry multiple styles. And some people carry a lot of styles. But most people carry one style. I wish I could just name it off the top of my head. One day I'm going to stop and do it like everybody else and write stuff down. Come back and do a video where I'm naming out some real authentic stuff. And y'all going to be like, wow. Y'all going to start understanding styles make fights. Because that's really what boxing talk is all about. Styles make fights. Triple G. So I'm going to end it like this. Canelo's dreaming. They just want him to use all they can up. I mean, use his name all they can up. He's the toughest nails young boy from Mexico. And they're trying to just use his name all up. Uh, if they could possibly get him a fight with Triple G when Triple G's washed up, that would be the ideal situation. Uh, Danny, Danny Jacob, you know, he gonna, he, this is his highlight of his career. Run with it. Have fun. 
You know, he's going to fight a few other people. As long as they on levels below him, he might even come out stronger than he was before because now he's got confidence, more more confidence. And maybe he'll even train better and harder. So Danny Jacob, this could be a turn for his career to make him a great. Uh, but he got to learn some more skills. He's, he's wild. He's, um, he just, he just, um, his punches ain't getting full effect. He's not getting full power behind his punches because he's not throwing them straight. And they're not coming off with his body weight. They're not, they're not nice. They should be. Okay. Now, um, Canelo, uh, they're going to try to use him. I say Canelo. Triple G, Triple G, he should retire. But if Triple G stay around, um, he should go out like the smart ones, like Floyd. Fight people that he can beat and just have fun. You know what I mean? Show people more knockouts. People going to love Triple G just for that. He can fight some people he know he can knock out, man. Stop fighting people that they want you to fight. They're putting you up in front of you. You're old now. You're not the same Triple G. Your time is up, buddy. Don't keep fighting people that's young and ready to come out. Because one day, your clock going to run out. And you ain't going to have that, 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 that. Come on, man. Why y'all not running out there? Go out there, man. Give me that box. But he ain't going to have it no more, okay? Now, who's next? Canelo, Triple G, um, 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 Canelo, Triple G, Danny, and who else was in this? That was it, man. Peace.